This time I'm heading up behind the glistening white mountain of Arkel, checking out the freshwater wilderness of a high loch and a small dark river, and camping with a view to die for. My name's Fergus, it's windy, and this is the middle of nowhere. back in Scotland for this video. Having been uh, away for a little over a month and now it's late August when I'm filming this and life is really at its most abundant and flourishing up here right now. I've come to almost the top of Scotland this time. The very far north. My left over there are the dramatic cliffs of Arkel Mountain and I'm on my way to another very very secluded spot behind an adjacent hill on the other side of that glen. It's the perfect conditions for hiking at this time of year because it's a bit windy but the sun is out and the wind is good because the midges are at their worst. So hopefully I won't have a lot of problems with midges today and tomorrow. But it's all very green and lush and I've got this lovely little patch of Scots pine forest to go through before uh, I hit the bare hillside. I knew that this loch was going to have lovely clear water because it's mostly surrounded by rocky ground so there's not a lot of soil to muddy it up which provides for a nice meditative experience. There's not much life in there though, at least not much animal life. I did see one water boatman which swam away really quickly before I could get it on camera. Um, and that was it, apart from a dead newt. Down at about five or six meters, you can see that obviously, this being an isolated body of water, there aren't any currents at the bottom. So these lumps of slime, which do manage to grow 
in the summer months are just sitting there but they're <laughs> they're not stuck to the rocks it takes so little to disturb them and start them floating around in the Excellent. water base of uh, Arkel has some really impressive cliffs that I didn't know about. That is so cool. And over here we've got the long ridge of Foynaven. I'm sure I pronounced that wrong. I've been up to the other end of the ridge before. It's a very good hill with some very impressive rock formations. And everywhere around here is um, pipe rock, which I pointed out in another video. Like this stuff here. Burrows, 500 plus million years old. Made by little worms. This incredible view just below the summit ridge of Malhorn, which is between seven and 800 meters high. So not a big mountain, but it's got an awesome view. Um, the clouds have completely enveloped Ben Hope over there, which is the most northerly of the Munros in all of Scotland. And there are two beautiful lochs right below me, which is what I wanted to see. I was going to uh, camp down at the upper of the two lochs, but I've decided that if there's enough water and it looks clean enough, it looks like there's a stream and some ponds, I'm going to camp on the ledge above the loch, which is at the top of a cliff. And that saves me having to come back up here tomorrow because that'll be a pain in the ass. like it's here from here oh you are joking <laughs> oh wow that is a cliff and a half Straight down. Epic. <laughs> oh. 
all set up now in a stunning location. Just uh, about 150 meters back from that awesome cliff. I've had my dinner and I'm quite toasty. And um, hopefully I'll be able to get a decent night's sleep. It's quite a comfortable night and there's enough wind to keep away the midges, which is good. somehow get down there to pick it up. Well, admittedly it's a lovely place to get dropped onto. damage other than the fact that it was pretty battered already lovely Ah, these clouds just keep building up and up and up in response to the sun getting higher. Exactly where I am. Really frustrating. It's over an hour since the sun rose now. Finally got a window with a bit of sunshine and some lovely light down there. But it's taken an hour and a half of waiting around. I uh, don't know what the clouds are going to do. Later on they're supposed to get worse. But now I think it's finally time to go back to my tent. Woo. Finally, time to go back to my tent and decide whether to have breakfast quarter past five or to get a bit more sleep. Another little bird flying around it. It's 
too far away to identify what kind of bird the smaller one is, and I don't know if it's harassing the eagle, or if the eagle is harassing it, or if they're just sharing an updraft. That's awesome. Appealing with the wind and the sun gone in. Uh, there's a tear in my hood. Awesome. Right. meters deep and you get those little baby trout or salmon I don't know which swimming around against the current down at the bottom awesome Well, I don't know about you, but I thought that was awesome. There's more light that filters down to the bottom of that deep pool than I expected. It always amazes me, as I'm sure it does most people, how these fish manage to get up these rivers and these waterfalls to be in places like this. It's crazy. Anyhow, that's my last stop before I go down the last hundred vertical meters or so to the road out of here. And then it's back to civilization for now. So I hope I've uh, managed to show you some interesting stuff this time round. And um, I'll be back soon with another video.